Okay, so we're going to get straight into the makeup tutorial today with my bare face and my messy hair. So I'm just going to first of all clip my hair out of the way just so it doesn't get in the way. <laughs> Starting off with the face, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the flawless filter in the shade number 5. And I'm kind of applying this on the high points of my face, so the top of my cheeks here, my forehead, a little bit on the bridge of my nose and my chin. And then I'm going to take a kind of duo fibre but kind of dense brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics, I believe, and I'm just gonna kind of buff that in. I'm using this because it gives your face a really, really nice flawless glow, like underneath your makeup. And it also kind of blurs imperfections, it's really freaking bomb. For foundation, I'm taking a really small amount of the Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6.5. You can see I've hardly put any on my brush, I'm just using this to kind of even out the skin tone a tiny bit more and just apply it where I need the most coverage, but because I'm going in with a cream contour and obviously concealer, but the cream contour is also concealer, I just didn't want to layer too many products on my face and I feel like if I'd put like a really like full coverage foundation on and then the concealers on top, it just would have been too much for me personally, but you do you, whatever you want to do, whatever floats your belt. So once I've buffed that in, as I said, I am going to go into concealer. I'm taking the KKW Beauty Concealers. So I've got the light one, which is shade number 6, and then the contour one in shade number 14. I absolutely love these concealers. I've been using these so much recently. So starting off with the contour shade, I'm just applying that on my cheekbones and my jawline. And then I'm taking this kind of dense, also duo fiber brush from the same set from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I'm taking it because it's kind of dense, but it's also kind of contour shaped. So you can see I'm really just patting it in to the area and then I'm blending up once it's diffused and you can see like how amazing does that look like it's unreal I really really love this product and with this brush like the combo together is yeah it's just my jam so yeah doing the same thing on the other side just as you can see pushing the product in don't worry too much if it's not like completely blended because we are going to clean it up with the concealer and we're also going to finish blending it with our foundation brush we used previously as well so don't worry too much if it looks a bit cray cray at first and then also obviously just blending in the jawline and i do go whatever's left on the brush i just go underneath my lip then taking the concealer shade um, in the shade, what was it, six? Um, so I do like a line by the side of my nose, then like a upside down triangle like this. I don't dip back in. You can see like this is this product on the brush. I haven't dipped back in. It does my whole face. So it's done my under my eyes. It's done my chin strap in between my eyebrows, my nose. And then the last bit I do is just clean up underneath this contour. Um, but yeah, I haven't dipped back in. Like to me, that's pretty, pretty good. Like that's the whole th one dip, you know? <laughs> um, so then we have this little tribal, little creation I've created. And then I'm going to be taking this brush, same set, similar kind of brush, but it's more of an angled brush. And I've really been loving these kind of brushes for blending out stuff, because I think you can really push the product into your skin. So it gives you really, really good coverage, but also like kind of, I don't know how to explain it, it's just just try a brush. Like I know we're all about the beauty blender, especially for under the eyes and stuff. But honestly, this brush under the eyes works so well and I really like that it's angled. So it just, yeah, it's really easy to use and it gives you really good coverage and also blurs. I don't know, I just think it's really good. So I'm just doing the exact same thing. You can see I'm not swiping the product around. I'm literally just pushing it and tapping it into the skin in the area that I have put the concealer. So I'm not swishing it all around the face. We want to keep it where we've placed it because that's why it's there. So just blending in the chin area and jawline and then also going to blend in the bit underneath the contour here as well and as I said don't worry too much as you can see right now it's a super super sharp line um, I do can you see like I kind of cleaned up that inner part of the contour by using whatever's left on the brush to drag it up here just so it kind of softens it but yeah don't worry too much if it's too much of a harsh line right now because I'm going back in with the concealer brush uh, not the concealer brush the foundation brush and I'm just pushing over kind of almost the whole skin so whatever's left on the brush which is pretty much nothing but whatever is left it will just soften and diffuse that lines giving you this super super natural contoured look without it looking too over the top to set the concealer, I'm taking my Rodeal Translucent Powder. I need to get a new one of these. It's almost run out. I'm taking that on the Kat Von D contour brush, I think this is. It's like contour one end and this is the other end. I really like this brush. I've used it for so long. So yeah, just pushing it in the areas I really need it. And then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Film Star 
bronze and blush I think and the Charlotte Tilbury brush as well so just set the kind of contoured areas also just bronze up the face slightly you can see it is giving us a little bit of a stronger contour but nothing crazy because it is a really nice brush I'm also taking the blush from this palette as well this blush is so nice it's got a really nice glow to it but it's nothing too crazy it's not like shimmery it just gives your face a really healthy glow then for highlighter, I'm taking the Anastasia um, Resi highlighter. I've just been using this one non-stop recently. Um, so it's just kind of my go-to one that I reach for. I'm taking this on a super fluffy duo fiber brush just to give us a light glow all kind of all over the face. Not obviously all over, but cheekbones, forehead, nose. Just so our face is kind of really glowy, but it's not like a super intense pop. Yeah. Then I'm spraying it to set it and also add glow with the iconic spray. It's like the prep set and prime spray in glow, which is the more bronzy one. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Powder in Ebony. I basically dip in, it looks super dark, but I only dip in once. So I dip in and underline the brow, and then I basically blend that throughout my brow. Does that make sense? So a dark underline, which looks a bit weird at first, like that. But then I use, I don't dip back in my product, I just blend that shade throughout my eyebrow. I feel like this works really, really well for me because my eyebrows are kind of full and bushy already. So it just kind of works well for me just to give them a bit more definition and colour, but nothing too crazy. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the Sigma. This is like a paint pot in called Compose. This is super, super old and I thought I lost it, but I found it. And I love this product, like so much. It's like a paint pot, like an eye base, but it's a really, really nice colour. I love this for everyday wear. It's like just a nice, subtle, bronzy, browny shade, but it's not super matte, but it's also not super shimmery. It's just got like a kind of sheen to it. It's so nice. I'm taking that on like a dense kind of eyeshadow brush, like it's pretty dense. And I'm also just using my finger to pat it and blend out the edges as well. But you can see it's super subtle, but it's so nice. And I really like layering products. So I always go in with some kind of base first and then apply something on top so I just pat that in and I also go underneath the eye with this a bit as well and then again just blending out with my finger I'm kind of winging it out to the side just so it diffuses all the way out you know it's subtle enough that you can do that it just kind of gives your eye a bit of like a contour to go over that and give a slight more color I'm taking this MAC it's called softened up it's almost like a it's a soft serve eyeshadow I think that's what it's called it's really pretty like more shimmery like more bronzy than the last one but obviously it's it sets better so i'm using it to kind of set the base but also add some more bronzy brown definition to the not definition at all just like a wash of color me personally if i'm wearing a winged liner not super keen on like like heavy eyeshadow with a winged liner i prefer like a soft wash of color and then a liner or no eyeshadow at all so for the brown eyeliner, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics liner and also the Tarte liner because I didn't like either shade on its own, but together they worked really nice. You can see the difference there. The Kylie one is a lot more like brown, almost a cool tone brown with some gold sparkles in it, whereas the Tarte one is a warmer brown. Um, so yeah, just mixed together, I think works really well. Although I did put on my Insta stories the other day, um, recommendations for brown eyeliner and you guys sent me loads so I'm definitely going to go out and get some more because I love brown eyeliner so much like I think it's so nice it's just not so harsh you know so I just winged it out as you saw and then I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Mascara this is the volume 2 so the newer version it's freaking bomb and I also decided to apply some lashes these are the Huda Beauty Harmony lashes I think it's basically the ones that come in the little sections and taking the Huda you can see like they're like broken up so taking the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, I applied one on the outer corner and then I applied one more just next to it. So not the full strip, just literally two sections on the outer corner just to give us more of a wing to our eye and just emphasize and define the eye a little bit more. Then I tight lined with this Makeup Forever, it's like a dark brown, I think it's M60, that looks freaking weird. Um, I just tight lined with that. And then I'm setting my brows with my Benefit Ready Set Brow Brow Gel. This stuff really is great. And I like that it hasn't got any colour to it. Just sets your brows and makes them look nice and fluffy. Highlighting the brow bone with the same Anastasia Arm Res... Arm Resi... Blah, blah, blah. Highlighter. And I'm also going to be applying this on the inner corners of my eyes as well. Just to give them like a bit of pop. And I think this looks really nice when you're wearing not much eyeshadow, but you've got a wing on. It just kind of makes your eyes look even more like winged. 
To brighten up underneath my eyes, I'm taking the KKW Beauty Brighten Powder in the shade number three. This stuff, guys, seriously. This was like a game changer for me. Like, I've been waiting for a product like this. I, I just, like, I just think it's so good. Look how much it brightens up my eye. And obviously, because I'm going down the sides of my nose, it kind of gives you like a instant nose contour without trying too hard. Like, it's honestly just so good, guys. Like, I really, really like it. Anyway, I'm using a, I think this is a Rimmel London, I think, concealer brush to just apply that, obviously, underneath my eyes and stuff, just to brighten it up and make it look really awake and it just looks really good, yeah. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in the shade 3C and I'm just lining my lips. <laughs> Not much to it. I'm just lining my lips and then I'm going to be going over that with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade crush and i'm just applying like there and there like not loads and then i'm just going to blend it in with my finger i prefer to do this with liquid liquor sticks because i feel like they last much better and they don't look too dry i am going to be going over it though with the charlotte tilbury new like lip gloss thing but only a really small amount and blending it in and then once you've done that this is the finished look guys i really hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next video bye guys Radio.